Welcome back to another uh, gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, well, not last night. Yesterday I started a new game um, and didn't get very far. Just kind of did the opening sequence. That way I got to a point where I can save and then I just kind of hopped off because it was my first time really speaking during a broadcast. So. Um, yeah, we're in Coulter, uh, in the, uh, you know, in Red Dead Redemption 2, we're playing as Arthur, after the Dutch Vanderlyn gang escaped the Pinkertons, uh, by the skin of their teeth, um, and yeah, alright, I'm not even gonna talk anymore, let's go. <laughs> alright, there's our man Arthur, hello, hello, hello. Let me make sure... Okay. Okay there, Dutch. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but he'll be all right. I hope. Okay. Well, try to stay warm. Thank you, Arthur. I cannot even imagine how cold it is there. I mean, look at that. Like. Pray for our ancestors having to live in houses like this, because this must have been cold. How you feeling, Jose? You've been coughing a lot. It's the cold. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course. Anyway, try not to worry. All right, Arthur. Has anyone ever seen the, um, the theory that Hosea also had tuberculosis? I remember seeing something like that because, you know, he was always coughing, saying that he didn't have much time left. Um, so, I mean, I wonder what affliction, uh, Hosea was suffering from because I remember after he dies, Micah has a comment saying that he was dying anyway. So, I do wonder that. Check this. Oh, oh, you know what I want to do? Uh, hang on. Sorry, I was taking my time there because I realized that I didn't export my previous uh, video to YouTube and I'm still trying to navigate Twitter and trying to figure it out and I don't know how to like go back and export that so if anyone can help me there that would be great. Um, anyway, can I search this? No. Doesn't feel much warmer this morning. How are you doing? Ah, uh, can't feel my feet, but I'm all right. That's it. Try to stay positive. Okay, Arthur. I feel bad for Molly. Like, I saw something that broke down, like, the ages of everyone. Molly's only 25, where it says Dutch is, like, 41. 
clearly taking advantage of this young woman who's all starstruck for him and then once she fails to be like new anymore he kind of tosses her aside and then for many people her like being seen as um you know a traitor only to find out that she actually was very loyal she was just you know heartbroken i don't know i feel bad for molly Hang on, guys. Let me just see one more thing. As always, I'm like scatterbrained when I do these things. I think I'm finally getting this. Guys, how do I go to creator dashboard? I swear. I don't know what I'm even doing. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. I'm not gonna get hung up on all that. I ain't sure how long we can realistically stay up here, Dutch. Oh, you don't start too. You're getting as bad as he is. That's not very nice. I think that's a genuine concern. Uh, let's do this one first. Stay strong. All right, then. Stay alert there, Javier. Another cold morning. How are you holding up? Oh, you know, freezing to death. We'll be okay. Okay, brother. Help oh, you boys, because I thought I liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you. Shut up, Michael. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess it. I guess folks missed it. Fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a part. <laughs> I mean, there kind of was. John and Abigail got married. Funny, huh? Sure. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around wait for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. We've been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. The last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... <laughs> oh, Arthur, you're gonna doubt him a lot towards the end. This is the right call, Arthur. 
Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. Tell the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Calm Old Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Judge. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. And that's how this will end. Does anyone want like a prequel to a prequel? Like what if they did Red Dead 3 and it literally is like you play as Dutch and you're experiencing his feud with Colm and all that. I think it would be interesting because both Red Deads have like a thing where you're, you know, you're obviously playing as the protagonist, but like neither Arthur nor John are necessarily good people. I think it would be interesting um, playing as like Dutch, who we like legitimately know isn't a good person. Mr. Williams, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers. Mr. Esquela, you two, hold position here. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Does everyone hear me? button mashing right now. <laughs> I feel bad for Kieran. Yeah. No. Cole can wait. 
best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right, let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. I won't. I wanted to grab it before. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. I can't wait to get the bolt action rifle. I know we don't get it till later, but that's my favorite rifle in the game. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Are you sure this is the right way? Oh shit. I wasn't paying attention. Wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Not yet. Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Me careful never. I feel bad for Arthur. I don't know. He really adored Dutch. You can see that, you know? And for Dutch, t but I mean, the signs were there. Like, as the viewer, as the gamer, we can see Dutch having always been this, Maybe like, narcissistic, megalomaniac cult leader. For you. They ain't got me yet. No, but Arthur but couldn't see. Been running, hush. Let's just get down there first. <laughs> down through these trees quickly. How can I do anything quick in the snow here, Dutch? Leave me alone. To my viewer, by the way, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Stay low. Come on, follow me. It's essentially like, doesn't really make a difference either way. We're shooting. Alright, let's do this.
So vulgar. I may regret that. Time to search more bodies. Ugh, don't you wish you could just shoot Micah right now? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I have one viewer right now. Hi. <laughs> No. It's okay. I'm restarting RDR. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. For what, like the fourth time now? So, Polly, this is what it would look like on the screen. I kind of like it. I don't... I kind of don't like it at the same time because then it's like it compresses the TV and you know me, I like to watch it on the big TV. Look at this bastard, Micah. Don't you wish... That's what I'm saying. It's so much padding. Like, not to like nitpick about it, but I don't like that. It's like goes from what? 55 inches to like 40 inches right now, which is like I know hashtag first world problems, but still. I definitely need coffee though. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, that's you can sit and watch if you want. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornball. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. 
Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us as hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. Damn, only have six dollars. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Whoa. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. I feel like I should have looted more, but once I get to Valentine, you'll see I um I know a way to make some decent money because I always like to have a decent amount of money in the Valentine chapter, just because that's when you get a new horse. I want to be able to get a good horse, you know, X Y and Z, X Y and Z. Um, I don't know if I'll do that this video or the next one, but. Um, I'll show you guys a cool way to get some quick money that I'll obviously credit to the creator that I even got it from. Aw, oh, poor Kieran. You bastard. You're coming with me. Just let me go, come on. This is very kind of you. God, no. And by the way, yes, I always loot the people who I hogtie. I feel like that goes so without else. saying. This could get mountain. What's your name, boy? I don't know. Boy. You don't know your name. It's here. I mean, to be fair, Arthur, you're a very intimidating person. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna lie. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! stuff Don't do this, please. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. That's harsh. How nice that Not is. One more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there.
this shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. <laughs> Gotta be nice to the horse first, of course. Alright, and now let's remove gear. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Stop lying, Arthur. <laughs> You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new poem. Hope you're real happy here. Yeah. You want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas. His need shooting? Save fellas is need saving, and feed them is need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll missing! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now? I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Bail. You okay, Bill? Are we gonna hit this train then? Seems that way. Is this where they're staying? I mean, who's sleeping on that? I Man, I know like beggars can't be choosers. You're like hiding away, but damn, Bill, I am so sorry. Well, just hang in there. Sure. Ugh, Micah. Hey, Micah. Feels a little warmer today, but not much. How are you feeling? Life is good. Good. All right. Oh, Lenny. Lenny. <sighs> Cold morning. How are you holding up? Not good. Going to be all right. <sighs> good luck. You know, uh, the cool thing about Coulter is you can go back to Coulter after, um, this chapter, right? Like, unlike Warma, obviously, where it's a one and done, you can come back to Coulter and, you know, just kind of go around it. I don't know, I kind of wish that the chapter was bigger. I mean, there isn't, like, a whole lot to do, but... I think the concept of it is cool. Oh, let's say hi to everyone. Okay. Oh shit. I'm sorry, Sadie. You're safe now. She'll be okay, Arthur. I'm sure she will, Mary Beth. Hey Cat. I'm glad you boys made it back alright. We was worried. Yeah. Hopefully we can. Get out of this hell hole soon. Just a few more days and we'll get off this hill. You should have a little food if you're hungry, Mrs. Adler. I know. And we had a before. Okay, man. You just ask Mary Beth here. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? What? I wasn't paying attention. You know how these things go. We've been through bad times before. Yep. And I want to know those. Like, I want to see what it was like beforehand. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Uh -huh, Arthur. How you feeling, Jack? 
My throat still hurts. Aw. Well, we'll be out of here soon, kid. Well, try to stay strong. Yeah, I'll go Arthur. You staying warm there? Trying to. At least we've got a fire now. Yep. Well, just hang in there. All right, then. All quiet here while we were gone? I think so. Slept for most of it. Typical. Oh, yeah, John. Good morning. Here we are. Another day. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Considering. That's the spirit. What a mess this all is. And I want to say it's all John's fault. Kidding. You feeling any better? Uh, not a whole lot. Can't seem to get warm. Well, I'm hoping we can get out of here soon. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Good enough. Who's this? Oh, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Arthur? Alright, Mr. Strauss. Yes, happy you boys all made it back in one piece. Mr. Bow. Well, try to stay strong. Just get us out of this damn place. Passed over from God? Hast thou not known? Hast thou Alright, you look like you're busy. The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. All right, let's go do this Pearson mission. <coughs> We're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. Oh, stop being negative. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I Aww, sent that's Lenny rude. Real hunting and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game they want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some meat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferred. Let's go. You can't go on. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look at this game of those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun. We'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. 
Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Sorry, of course I'm multitasking again while I'm doing this. I'm making stew, so just want to check on it real quick. Patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. Easy. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. Easy. There's deer been here. In recent night. How can you tell? How can you not? No, no, okay. Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the ball. Don't leave it on your Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. This ain't my first rodeo.
can. This has never happened before. Scaring them off. <sighs> Not doing well. Right. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulders. <coughs> okay, I'll go grab the other one. My bad, Charles. Let's head back. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak. Well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Easy. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. <laughs> Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <laughs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. So that's interesting that both Micah and Charles have only been there for like six months. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Good. 
Does anyone play this and like Cut up here. feel the friend. urge to ride a horse? Like when I was younger, um, I used to horse ride like a few times, not in any like competitiveness or not even in the states. It was like one of those things that like my parents like took me on uh, vacation a lot when I was younger to like Mexico, Antigua, Aruba, Saint Martin, and everywhere we went, they would always do like horseback riding because they knew I liked it so much. Um, so I haven't like ridden a horse since I was a kid, but playing this just is like, man, I'd love to do that again sometime. Being up here, sooner or later the job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No, no, not at all. No, you can run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang like the Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things. Even Hosea. <laughs> and I want I'm to sure see that. Just save me. Save most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Yeah, I don't know about that, Arthur. How's that new horse? He's all right. We'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill, Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Up me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. No, no response to that, Charles? Okay. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Easy over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just what a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid He loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it is. Now shoot, get lost. Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You're Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah. Oh, seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. Let me find him a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> you always want with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there.
too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these, sell these, pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off. You never get a lot of money for it. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all these years. <laughs> well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. It's been a bad few weeks. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Bill. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, that job. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Well, Abigail. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. You see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of that. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't no problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on! What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, he's a big railway magnate, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Everyone ready? All right, let's head out! Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscoll, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer that run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Mike. You head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride! Let's ride.
much snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast, now it's thawing, before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Mike Bell, hey, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier, hey! Mike Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier, Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at it, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes short. That goes for all of you. No mistake. Watch it. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. It's crazy that you literally get all that money at the end of the freaking game when it's like... I mean, what do you even like need it yeah. for? You know. You head down, see how he's getting on. Okay. <laughs> but it is satisfying to finally have it. All right, let's go. Oh my god. Spool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Where the fuck is my horse? Come on, horse. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Train robbery um missions are always the best. It's time. Good luck. Polly, you all know what to do. Like, damn, how do you call Dutch pathetic right now? Here we go, here we go! Oh. I'm slipping! Oh. 
Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone dead. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. Boys, go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we Not go. Not like the fuse. Unless you've got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Search that train. 
Alright, move. <laughs> Look at this place! It's like a palace! Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the sake? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? Parch, shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? Train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Okay, get on the train. Quick, on it! Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move! Said quick. My like first game play, I like literally took the time to loot all of these bodies, but I'm not gonna do that this time. It's not really that worth it at this moment. There'll be other opportunities.
Are we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Jose. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Well, to be fair, yeah. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whisker. Trying. Gotta keep us moving, but ah, shit. Okay. Let's take a look. Polly. Once I get to horseshoe overlook, then we can go get coffee. Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. Alright. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. Alright, child, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. Not to say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> I think this is a really cool detail that because when I first played this I didn't think anything of this right and then to have this whole arc later in the game with rains fall and eagle flies and it's like you literally just meet them literally at the beginning of the game I just think that's cool country they lost it all stolen clean away from them it was every blade of grass killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere now it's not different from anywhere else well maybe it's Facts. not i just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it unpleasant how do you rob and kill people pleasantly mm -hmm. we don't 
Spider touch is tough. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life had been in the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man. The drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. I want to see all of that. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yep. I mean, you guys have time. The right way. That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. Do you know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but... We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. He's very eloquent, Arthur. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. No one likes to show off Hosea. Oh shit, sorry. I was checking on the stew that I've been making this whole time. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm very reckless right now. I love Horseshoe Overlook. It's definitely my favorite um, campsite. I mean, I like I forget what the one is in Rhodes. I like the layout of it. Obviously things are a little bit more tense in that chapter, but I do like the layout of it. But I just love Horseshoe Overlook in the layout, in the, you know, chapter, everyone's feelings, the interactions. It's just, it's, it's great. Oh shit. Weren't we supposed to meet with Hosea? Is he on? Not Hosea. Javier. Javier, where are you? I don't know what I did. My bad. That's what happens when you game and you don't pay attention while you're gaming. <laughs> One day, guys, I'll uh, turn my camera on. It just feels better right now not to have it on. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. This place is 
Perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Michael got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. <coughs> but I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of the Virgin Land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. It was a pretty dream. You just look around you. This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their key. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Our girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. When we put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Mr. Shaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. And everything apart from my money. Oh, well, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Some pretty enough country called the Heart. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there, Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> All right, so now, guys, we are in Horseshoe Overlook. I am going to do one last thing before I hop off and shave. I always make sure to do that.
And at some point I'll go to the barber and do something with that hair. I always see people who have his hair like long, but I usually like to keep Arthur in a nice, like swept back, uh, you know, cut and everything like that. So I'll do that on the next one. But um, here we go. Well, let's say hi to Dutch real quick. Dutch, Dutch, come back, you bastard. Yeah, bro, I only got like 42 bucks, I'm not- Oh, you know what? I always contribute. I know it sounds a little ridiculous because it's like everything that happens in the end, but either way, you can't take your money with you in the epilogue, so I almost feel like it's better to just waste it. As I said, next um, video, I will show you guys how to get a cool boost in your funds. That way it could really help you when you're like at the beginning. Or the epilogue. I feel like you could also keep this uh, little tip when you're John as well, because John also starts with nothing, but I'll do it in the next one. All right, let me save. Actually, let's get Arthur some food. Micah, you bastard. Food in us. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.